How far is this hole? Anybody know? Five, 540. Okay, so 540. I'm gonna actually just hit a little bunt here up the right side and I'll probably draw it again. Um, no swing thoughts for me. Uh, just finish the turn and, and open up. Um, I got a really tight start line here between these two trees out in the right. Pretty much starting it at that white tee box right there. Breathing in, I'm getting external. Zero thoughts. Oh, that was smashed. We've got 300 out to the water. It's a par five. He's still hitting his driver. If he takes it up the left a little bit more, yeah, he can get by it. Off to the right. Okay. Like I'm comfortable starting it just right side of the fairway and turning one over. Okay, cool. See it. That's smashed. So we're at 520, what, 523 is the hole, and we have what, how far in? 158. 158, so do the math on that. We, we both hit it a little bit further than we thought, okay? Um, Johnny and I are right next to each other. Johnny's going to hit what, uh, eight irons, nine iron, what do you got? I'm debating on seven and eight. Okay, because we got some wind into us? Yeah. Okay, so 158, probably playing what, one? Yeah, now the wind's really switched, okay. 172, so is this a full seven? No. no. So show me how far back you're gonna take this, Johnny. Good, so it's not a full swing. Are you changing your speeds here, or are you just changing your actual, uh, your length? Just the length. Okay. Back and through. Okay, and wipe through, just so you can flight it a little yeah, more? Flight it a little bit down. Okay, now the wind's coming right to left here. We got water right, short. Um, are you going to cut it off this? Or are you going to draw it? Because we got room back right. Is there any kind of like... Yeah, we got some, well, there's room left too, so I'm, my, ideally I'll just end this a little past and a little left of the hole. Okay, and you've got a left to right lie, correct? Yes. These, don't forget, guys, you're going to always going to get pure fairways where there's like, this has got flyer lie written all over it, doesn't it? A little bit. At least mine does, okay? So I'm careful of that, okay? So on something like this, where are you going to err, shorter or longer? Okay, longer, so you'd rather have something downhill here. I personally would rather have something shorter, just because back of that is what? Downhill. Downhill, so I'd rather prefer to see Johnny being a little short of this hole, okay? So let's, what's our actual yard, 70? 70. Okay, let's see 70. Do you want eight? Yeah. Okay, so now this is a good situation. If I was his caddy, I'd say, okay, 170 here, commit to 70, even though the wind just switched a little bit. Now it's a full swing, right? Yeah. Okay, you got it all planned out? Yep. Okay. It's right at it. Very nice. So Johnny's right in the middle of the green, right under the hole, probably about 15 feet for eagle. Okay, good shot, Johnny. So Johnny switched clubs. You felt good with that? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so let's come over to my ball. All right, so I have the same yardage here. I'm going to take out the same exact club here. Um, I'm going to hit a full eight iron. It's going to play about 170. Um, I've got a little downhill, and I've got a little flyer here, which means I'm going to play it a little further back just for contact purposes. Um, I'm also knowing when I do that, my loft is going to get a little lower, which means the ball is going to come out faster, hotter. I also got a lie here that looks like I've got a flyer in the middle of the fairway. So I got to be careful with that. So I also have water short, so I want to air towards the longer side um, if I'm on the right side. Okay, I'm going to start this pretty much right at it, even though I hit a draw and the wind's coming right to left. Um, that being said, what am I thinking about my golf swing? Um, Really, the only thing, like I said, I think about is finishing my turn, having my structure where I like it, okay, and then feeling like I'm just turning through the shot with my pivot. Now, how do I turn that off if that's my thought back here? I turn that into a feel, all of a sudden my mind goes blank and it becomes a feel, okay? So people go, how do you go blank? What I do to get blank 
is I stare at the horizon or any kind of like natural, you know, anywhere in the here and now is where I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be right here in the here and now. And so if I'm actually thinking I'm inside my head, I'm internal. So I get super external. I look at the, the wind blowing on the trees. Uh, I hear sounds. All those things are what I do immediately. And that gets me out of my own head. So that's how I turn that into a feel. My eyes go real hazy. They get real heavy like that. Breathe in. And then I focus in on my start line with zero thought about golf swing, okay? Now here we go. Okay, hit that real solid. Let's see how it goes. Good, okay. So I hit it to the back of the green. I hit it over, barely over the pin in the back and we'll go back there. It was a good shot. The thing is, is I hit eight iron off a downhill lie playing 170. I probably hit that about 178, 180-ish because I told you there's a flyer lie here um, and I got a little one, but it didn't hurt me at all. So we'll go see where it's at. All right, so we're looking at my shot right here on this par five. Johnny hit a great shot. We both thought the pin was back. Did you not think it was back more? Further back. I thought it was further back. Uh, regardless, he's got six feet for eagle. I've got off the back of the green for eagle. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm calculating this, like that rough right there, the first, I don't know, four feet of my ball there, five feet of my ball is grass, it's just, it's green, okay? So I'm not calculating the rough in yet, okay? And if I calculated it and I putted it like a flat putt, I'd putt it about, I put it about right here on a flat putt and that would run itself out to the, to the, to the bottom of the hole. But now I got to calculate in that first four or five feet of rough. And to me, that's going to play about another five feet here. Okay. So that means my real putt, I'm going to try and putt is to about right here. Now I've got to be careful. I've got to get it over this last tier because it's downhill. And if I leave it up here, I'm going to be stuck here. I'd rather run past the hole a little bit than be stuck up here with the right to left or downhill, okay? So what I am trying to do is go here with the intentions to be here or a hair longer, okay? But I am gonna putt this. I could actually definitely chip this, but I'm gonna show you how I would treat this just like a flat putt. So my read here is a little right to left and Obviously downhill, I'm gonna play it about five feet short overall. It's really about 10 feet short, but because of this rough here, I'm gonna play it about five feet short and a foot on the right. And Lee, do me a favor, put that pin a little straighter in case I get lucky. Thank you, my man. There you go. All right, so now I'm gonna putt just like a flat putt. So I putted that like a flat putt and I got myself a birdie, okay? So easy bird. Okay, so I calculated that one right. Um, I've been playing golf a long time and the reason I would calculate it like that is because it's easier than just looking at it besides doing the rough, adding the rough in first. Add everything in like a flat putt and then add the rough to that equation, okay? Um, I left it to foot, easy birdie. Um, it's a lot easier than hitting a chip there. If I was uphill, and I had that same situation, I would definitely take an eight or a six iron if I had that same situation. But I'm downhill, I'm gonna hit a putt because I don't know once I hit it, it could roll out a little bit harder, I could hit a hard spot, but I'd much rather on a down, on the bottom part of the green to the uphill, I'd much rather take an iron and we'll talk about that, okay? For now, let's chill, okay? What are we playing, this cup speed? Or are we playing it like a foot by? What are we doing? Because I want you to actually um, you commit. Get, you don't get too many chances inside 10 feet for Eagle, so I'm gonna play it about a foot by. Okay, so you're gonna play it a foot by, so you're gonna take a more aggressive line. So you're gonna take about right here? Yeah. Okay, if you're, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna play it cup speed, would we move it out to about here? Yeah. Okay, so he's not, he's not playing for a die, he's gonna play pretty aggressive at it a foot by, but if he's gonna play a die, die putt, he'd be out here. Now what changes his mind? He just wants eagle. Let's see if he got, he's got that eagle. So I'm just watching his lineman, I'm not gonna change anything here, you just do you. Good job. Oh, so it didn't break as much. Now, 
From what I saw on the backside for you guys out there, he usually aims right. On this one, he had it exactly where he wanted, and that's the first time he's aimed left of his logo on his ball, okay? That's a first, okay? So you probably felt like in your feet there was a little more break, correct? Yeah. Okay, then where he put this down. That means that he had it in the, in the exact right place for the line he wanted to start it on, and he had his putter a little more left because he felt like it was gonna break a little bit more, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just put a perfect stroke on it, and you just barely missed it left, okay? No big deal. All right, let's go next hole.